Thank you for watching Munchkin's Reading Corner. Please hit that subscribe button so you never miss another reading adventure. Today I'll be reading Pete the Cat and the Super Cool Science Fair by Kimberly and James Dean. If you have this book, go and grab it so you can follow along. Pete cannot wait for Friday. His school is having a science fair. Pete has never been a scientist. Now he can try it out. Pete's teacher tells the students they will do experiments in groups. Pete is in a group with Callie, Gus, and Squirrel. Our experiment is going to be groovy, says Pete. What should we do? Let's build a mini submarine, says Callie. Or grow a giant tree, says Squirrel. Or invent an invisible guitar, says Pete. Why don't we make a volcano, asks Gus. Whoa, they say. Volcanoes are awesome. The group plans the experiment at Pete's house. His mom brings them snacks. Would any scientist like a cookie, she asks. They all raise their hand. The cookies are warm and gooey. The scientists check the big book of experiments for materials. They need glue, water, newspaper, paint, and a plastic bottle for the volcano. They need vinegar, baking soda, liquid dish soap, and a secret ingredient for the lava. Pete and Gus mix the glue and water. Squirrel and Callie tear the newspaper into strips. They cover the plastic bottle with glue and paper. It looks like a sticky white volcano. Oh no! The paint in the brown bottle is blue. What are we going to do? asks Callie. They can't find brown paint anywhere. That's pretty cool, says Pete. Maybe it's okay that we have a blue volcano. We'll be the only group with a blue volcano, says Squirrel. Let's test the lava so we know the volcano will erupt at the science fair, Pete says. Gus pours baking soda and liquid dish soap into the volcano, and Callie adds vinegar. Nothing happens at first. All of a sudden, a lot of lava started coming out. Super cool, says Callie. The team high-five each other, but the lava is still coming out. Soon, it is a huge mess. Oh, Mom isn't going to be happy, says Pete. At least the scientists are ready for the fair on Friday. When Pete and his team arrive at the fair, they see all the other groovy experiments. They all look awesome. Grumpy Toad and Octopus grew rock candy in jars. Emma and Marty made slime. We don't stand a chance, says Gus. Don't worry, we have the secret ingredient, says Pete. At the science fair, Pete's teacher loves the blue volcano. Wait till you see it erupts, Pete says. The whole class watches Callie pour vinegar into the volcano. A second later, glitter lava gushes out. Everyone cheers. Hooray! The scientists cheer the loudest. Science experiments are hard work, says Pete, but being on an awesome team makes them a whole lot easier. Coolest experiment at the science fair. Thank you for reading Pete the Cat and the Super Cool Science Fair with us today on Mushka's Reading Corner. Please hit that thumbs up so other viewers can join our adventures. And remember, it's never too early to start reading. See you soon!